Hi, I'm Kendra Richards. I'm a Los Angeles-based celebrity makeup artist, and I'm going to demonstrate on Rachel how to emphasize your eyes. So I'm going to focus the lighter colors predominantly on the inner part of her eye, and then the darker colors on the outer part of her eye. But just to begin with, I like to go ahead and just put the base color all the way over the whole entire eyelid. The important thing to remember here is what I'm going to do is taking this darker color and focusing it on the outer three-quarter edge of the eye. So I put that down and then I use a blending brush to then blend it out and up. And again, going over it again, same thing. And it goes out and up. It helps open up and elongate the eye. And I like to layer a lot of times. It just really looks better when you can just go over it several times with another color. Another really important step in really emphasizing eyes are false eyelashes. I'm going to curl Rachel's lashes and have you look down. Also a really important step is to do a quick little test. Make sure that you don't have any skin in that curler before you clamp down and you want to clamp and then work it all the way up the eye so you don't have just a short bend. You want to have a, a nice curl and a nice roundedness to the lashes. You do the same thing on the other eye. And again, testing to make sure I don't have her skin in there before I fully, you okay? Now I'm going to go ahead and put some lashes on the outer edges, just... These take a little bit of practice. You're going to have to try these probably a few times before you can really master it at home. It's a little trickier to do it on yourself than it is to do it on somebody else, but they're really fun to use, especially if you're going out or you have a special occasion, you really want to have a high impact look. This is a big celebrity secret. I don't think people realize how much celebrities rely on false eyelashes to really give them a thick, full lash. So far, I've put six of these little cluster lashes on the outer three quarters of Rachel's eye, and that's going to really elongate and, and extend the look of her eye. The glue can be just a little bit tacky. It's helpful if you can go ahead and maybe put a little dollop of glue out as you're starting so it has just a couple moments to get a little tacky before you go to apply the lashes. It'll help with the application. And then later, when you go to take them off at the end of the night, all you really need to do well, if you use a glue that's like a medical adhesive that I'm using, for example, all you need to do is just take a nice warm washcloth and hold it over the lashes. It'll soften it, and then they'll just come off lightly. You don't want to yank fake eyelashes off just, um, you know, without softening it first. Let's see how that is. Because otherwise you could take la your own lashes out, and that's uh, really not good. Let's do some eyeliner. And again, the same concept applies to the eyeliner. We're going to focus it on the outer edges of the eye and not carry the line all the way in. Right in there, real close to the eyelash line. And then I'm going to blend it out, soften that line just a touch. I'm using a, just a very small, soft, rounded makeup brush. It's more of an eye detailing brush, just to blend that eyeliner out. If it doesn't go as far as you want, you can just put a little bit more and then just focus it out. And then I'm going to soften that and blend it in with what I've already done by just going over that again with the eyeshadow brush. I'm going to finish that off with a coat of mascara or two or three. That may seem like a lot, but that's another trick to really having a high impact look. Sometimes as many as three, maybe four coats of mascara are applied. I'm going ahead and just putting a coat on each la each eye, and then I'm going to comb through that with the eyelash comb. I like to use an eyelash comb between each coat because it just takes the clumps out and gives them a, a more natural look. It also helps separate these lashes. I am going to go ahead and do a second coat, and I'm going to go as close into that lash 
base of the lash as I can, jiggle it a little bit. I'm not going too all the way into the inner eye area, in part again because I'm trying to focus on the outer edge of her eye, and that'll be a good place to put a third little dab of mascara. I also like to use a good volumizing mascara to really emphasize the eyes. They have lengthening mascaras, but the volumizing one really thickens and really gives you that fuller lash, which I think is a key part of a look like this. And then just that one little final bit of mascara, just on those outer edges, just on those outer edges. And again on this side. So I like to go in at about the outer three-quarter edge and just put a little bit of eyeshadow under there. Then I'm just going to take a little blending brush. Just gently blend that out. Back onto that eye. Okay. And I'm going to blend it again, softening that line under the eye. So one final way that you could take this a step further and make it maybe into an evening look as opposed to a daytime look like we have now is by adding mascara on the bottom lashes. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And I like to just hold the mascara wand a little bit more vertically to do that. I get in there on those lashes and then again coming in with that comb and getting those clumps out and primarily focusing on those outer edges. Picking out those little bits. I do the other eye now. And same thing on this other eye, holding the wand vertically and just brushing it lightly over the lashes. A nice trick for this too is to Take that mascara wand before you go up to the eye and run it through a Kleenex just to get some extra mascara off because you don't want too, too much mascara on those lashes on the bottom. And those are the four steps to emphasizing your eyes.